first. So what did you see following the third quarter, the end of the third quarter? Um, just executing down the stretch. Um, you know, hurt us, I think, in this game. And if you can uh, separate for a second, just about the front score record, you're approaching the top 30 in, in all time points. The front of course, passes alone for number two. Uh, what did you make of, of how we did tonight? Yeah, I mean, you know, to be able to play the game at a high level for so many years and to be able to uh, just embrace everything that has came his way along his journey, is, it's an amazing feature um, just to witness overall and to see him constantly keep climbing up the ladder. Um, and that's, a, you know, pretty crazy to see um, that he's able to kind of have that many points over so many years. So. It's, it's a great, great accomplishment. Russ, Frank was highlighting um, the many positives to take from this game, the way you guys played and defended it, especially in the first quarter. And the overall you know, eating at the right time or taking your best you know, after the 82. Um, is, is, is that the prevailing takeaway from, from this game? Or, or is there more of a frustration with the fact that it looked like you guys were having some momentum, obviously, the last night not in the way to look at where you guys were in the um, I mean, you could take it however you kind of want to as individually, but there are some 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 things in the game you can take from it. I just think overall, defensively in the fourth, we, we weren't as good as we were last night uh, tonight. So, um, Russ, I think you were all here fourth season. Did you get a score here last year? Um, did that change your mind? I mean, I'm very appreciative of um, just overall organization, <laughs> the fans. Uh, they they welcomed me and my family with open arms uh, since day one when I got here. And, um, you know, a lot of people last year even counted us out as a, as a team. And a lot of guys are still here, people on the coaching staff as well. Um, so it was good to see a lot of those guys and, um, you know, happy to be a part of an a organization that, you know, believed in things I'm able to do. And uh, I was happy to be a part of it. So. Well, for us, you know, speaking of Um, yeah, I just try to play and see what the best way to be able to benefit our group um, each night. It can be a combination of different things I'm able to do on the floor. So I try to be able to do that uh, when I can. I guess, are you seeing these stretches uh, for long enough periods? Or is, is that belief built on what, what this team is going to look like once they ease back, they get 10% of the player? Is it, are you closer to that reality than maybe people realize? Um, I still, I stand on what I, what I say always, um, regardless of who's on the floor. I know we have a chance uh, because of the talent in our locker room. And, you know, I still believe that. Yeah.